Hello, welcome back to Garden Obsessed. My name is Carla, and I just picked up my sale um, items from MI Gardener. I can't remember exactly when it happened. I think it was like about a month ago, and I don't remember anything that I ordered. So, <clears throat> excuse me. I thought it might be fun for us to open this together. So, let's give it an open and see what we ordered. I didn't even remember how many things I ordered, quite a few. <laughs> uh, okay, oh yes. Okay, so the first thing I'm seeing here is I ordered a package of summer savory. That is because my package um, is quite old. I don't know if it's still viable. The last couple years, um, my summer savory has actually reseeded itself in the garden, but this year I didn't have any and I kind of missed it. So I needed some new summer savory for next year. Um, I think I've talked about this before, but I'm trying to buy less seeds and only buy the seeds that I know I need and I know I'm gonna use. So I'm guessing there's some lettuce in here. A lot of my lettuce seed was old and wasn't extremely, it didn't have extremely high germination rates this year. Um, and I know I ordered a few things for our seed sale next year. So this is one of those things. This is a fireworks pepper. It's pretty cool looking. So it's like an ornamental pepper that you can also eat. It's a hot pepper. Um, so that's for the seed sale. I might make two piles here. Like one of stuff that I know is for me and one of stuff that I know I ordered for our seed sale. Okay, next up is Russian tarragon. So I've never grown tarragon, but I want to establish a dedicated herb garden next year. Um, just a spot where I know like right now they kind of just get shoved in wherever there's space. And I, I want a space where I know it's just for them and I needed some stuff to plant in it. So that's for me. Firecracker pepper. This is similar to that other pepper. It's like an ornamental pepper. They're smaller. They're also a hot pepper and like they're an ornamental that you can eat. And I got this for the seed sale. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I remember at the time I had ordered um some things that I thought I might have time to plant for fall I think probably I don't now it is what's the date today the 11th of August I believe so we have you know pushing it we might be looking at like 50 days possibly 60 days frost free left but um I'll have these for next year so I got this cabbage. This one is Danish ball head. I don't remember anything about it. Um, I think I tried to order some that were like smaller and quicker growing, like that would be good for fall cabbage. This one says the head gets between eight and 10 inches. That's actually a pretty decent size, but um, maybe I'll try. That one's for us. Here is some lettuce. I've never tried this one, but it's called Hansen Improved Crisp Head. And Jarrett is constantly telling me he wants more crispy lettuce. So I thought, you know, with a title like Crisp Head, this might be a good one. That is for us. Um, oh yes, so these are for us and for the sale. This is pumpkin spice jalapeno. I've never grown an orange jalapeno. I thought that would be fun. And I thought, you know, people might be interested in having some different colored jalapenos. So I'm gonna stick that in the seed sale pile, but I'm definitely gonna steal one or two of those. These are for me. These are, you know, on my never ending quest, I say I'm gonna give up every year and every year I keep doing it. So I knew I would need seeds, but I'm gonna try Elsa Craig onions next year. I heard these are a good one. Um, originating from Scotland, their long day variety. That's what we need here where we live. So I will give those a shot. So that goes in our pile. This I thought would be really cool for the seed sale and also for me. And I might 
try planting one of these now. This is called a 42 day tomato. I doubt it's actually 42 days. Um, it's a determinant and it has just small one ounce fruits. Um, but I thought that would be cool and it might be something that we would <clears throat> want to grow for the seed sale that would already have tomatoes on it. Like start them early and have like, you know, almost mature plants for people when they come to the seed sale. So I'm going to stick this on the seed sale pile, but I might try planting one of these like now just to see. Here's another cabbage, early Jersey Wakefield. I believe I tried growing these a few years ago. Um, I don't have the best luck with cabbage. They seem to like, you know, the broccoli and the cauliflower mostly get disturbed by the cabbage worms and you can take care of that with BT. But our cabbages for some reason just get like demolished by slugs. Um, and anyway, long story, I might try, might try these ones again. I don't think we ended up eating any of them the last time I tried, but you know, where there's a will, there's a way, right? Um, this is for the seed sale. This is a tomato I've never grown, but my cousin really likes it. This is Ace 55. So these are for the seed sale and for, for him if, if he wants um, to grow some of these. It's, it is one of their favorite tomatoes. So um, it says it's a semi-determinant with low acidity. So we might try a couple of those next year as well. Um, here's another onion that I got. I don't remember why I got this one. I did remember that the Elsa Craig was highly recommended. Maybe this one was to Cipollini or maybe they just had it in stock. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know why I ordered this. This is a short day variety. <laughs> ah, I don't know what I was thinking. Whatever. We might try it. Probably won't go very well, but you know. Live and learn. Um, yeah, I got some more carrot seed. Um, carrot seed is kind of like onion seed. They have one of the shortest lifespans that I have found. Um, like, you know, tomatoes and peppers you can grow for like years and years and years from the same package. But uh, carrots and onions, you know, a couple years and that's about it. So I needed some new carrot seed. Um, little fingers is one that I got. I think I have grown this one before, although I don't. I can't remember it differentiated from the other ones, but that'll be fun to grow. And I can actually get some of these planted now um, because I plan on putting the cold frame on some carrots. So we'll be able to harvest hopefully into like December and January. This is for the seed sale. These are Space Master 80 cucumbers. So you can grow these in a container um, and we didn't have a lot of, other than peppers and tomatoes, we didn't have a lot of this type of thing at our sale this year, but I think next year we will. So got those for that. Um, yes, I got some peas. These are Oregon giant snow peas. I grew these last year, loved them, didn't have any this year. So when I saw these on sale, I picked up another package of those. They're big, huge pods. Like I really liked them and I liked them better than the ones that I'm growing this year, which I think were, I don't remember, I'll put the name right here. So those are for us. Um, there's a couple flowers here. I'm gonna save those for last. All right, <clears throat> this is also for seed sale slash us. So this is habanada pepper. Um, a lot of people weren't into, we did have a few hot peppers and the only peppers we had left over were hot peppers. So I thought this might be cool. Um, you know, it's tastes like a habanero without the heat. So also cool for us to grow. So we'll grow some of those. That'll be fun. Um, a few years ago, I grew these. I tried to start some seeds this year and my seeds were too old. So I got another package of these. These are birdhouse gourds. They're super fun. Um, one of the girls that I used to work with, she used to grow these and she would dry them, cut them and stain them with like houses and fun little folk arty type things on them. And she would sell them at um, a craft fair. So these I want to grow again and 
maybe make some birdhouses out of that sounds fun to me um this is funny because i've already bought these somewhere else because i forgot i ordered them <laughs> so i got gray zucchini so gray zucchini is my favorite and i couldn't find the seed this year to grow them so i did finally find a package and i bought them forgetting i had ordered them here um, but I did actually do a late planting of some zucchini outside in containers. And I'm hoping, I don't know that I got them. They're probably about 10 days old now. I probably planted them beginning of August before we went away. So I also planted some green beans. Um, and I'll show you guys on the next garden tour. But I hope we get some zucchini from them this year. But if not, I have plenty of seed for next year. Uh, what else do we got here? Okay, this just looked like a really cool squash, um, and it's not one that I had. This is called Musquet de Maroc squash, I think. So it's one of those warty looking ones. This says it is a vining variety. Um, it's a French squash prized for its flavor. I'm really into like ornamental things that are also edible. Um, so this is one that we will try next year. I don't have the best luck, like at the community garden, it's really hard to grow vining things. You can grow like the bush varieties and stuff. So I have a bunch of bush varieties, although some of them are vining as well. Um, but at home, I, I think it's just not sunny enough. So they like a lot of sun and they never seem to like the plants look nice and healthy right now, but there's very few that have actually set fruit. And it might also be like our weird, this is the first year I've tried growing them in ground at home. It's a new space that we set up. And it's also been a really weird year. So I'm not gonna judge it, you know, by this year alone, but this is one that we'll try next year, um, but we'll have to try it at home because the vining varieties, there's just not space for them in the community garden. Um, so that's pretty cool looking. So that's for us. And then, um, I think I grew this one last year, but maybe used the last of my seeds or it's a similar squash that I've grown this year, but this is butterbush. Um, this one is vining as well. I thought this one was a bush variety, but anyway, um, it's kind of like a smaller butternut. It's, uh, just a butternut squash, but, um, they store really long. So butternuts is something I wanted to grow this year. So I think I do have a bush variety um, in at the community garden. And I don't know, maybe, maybe we'll, maybe we'll try growing one or two vine things in there. We'll just give them lots of space or maybe we'll need two plots next year. I don't know. Okay. So that was it for like the veggies. And then I have just four packets here that are flowers. So I got a red garnet amaranth, which is one I have never grown before. I got a red spike, which is one that I have grown before. Um, I got an apricot aster, which I have also grown before. And an apricot status, which I have not grown before. Um, I am growing, I have grown status and am growing status, but uh, they're mostly like purple, pinks, and whites and stuff. So this will be really fun to add to the mix. So we have quite the stack here. These are all the things that I'm keeping. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen plus four flowers. So those are for me. And then we also have a little stack here for the seed sale next year. There are seven packets here of some interesting stuff. So I forgot at least half, like at least half of that stuff. I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. So that was fun. Um, I hope you enjoyed that little seed haul slash surprise. I forgot what I ordered thing. Um, and I hope you're starting to think about, you know, the fall and next year and all of those fun things. The planning is really half the fun. Like, um, you know, as sad as I am when gardening season is over, I'm also usually really tired of it by that time and wanting a break. But I really do love 
going through my seeds and what I have and trying to plan what I want to grow and where we're going to fit it and all of those things. Um, I always say I could use more space, but you just can't grow all of the things when you're one person, right? But we can try. So um, I hope you enjoyed that video. I thank you for joining me and we will see you next time.